Hey, Chad, I'm Brandon. I'm the guy that talked to you a little bit ago on the phone about uh, how I can help you get a lot more customers for your business. All right. So just to let you know a little bit about who I am real quick before I kind of get into all that detail. Um, I moved down to Surprise from Colorado. That's where I'm from. That's why I have that Colorado number. Um, but I moved down here in 2014 because I was a soccer player and I signed with Arizona United. It's a team based out of Phoenix. And I played with them for a little bit, and now I'm kind of retired from playing. Um, I'm 31 years old. I've got a wife and little girl that we had just earlier this year. She's 10 and a half months old now. Um, but now, since I'm done playing soccer, this is what I do full time. I, I work from home. I work for myself. I don't work for any company or anything like that. Um, but I've got kind of this skill set that I've developed over time. And really, I'm an expert at capturing uh, just the lion's share of the market when they're searching for a local service, okay? So I'm going to kind of get into it here and explain um, how I do that and how it works and why it's super effective, okay? So let's say that I wanted information about elephants, okay? So I go to Google and I type in elephants, all right? The first page that comes up here is Wikipedia's page all about elephants. They've got like 20,000 plus words, tons of information, tons of content, all about elephants. Everything you could ever want to know is on this page, right? The anatomy of an elephant, the different species, just all kinds of information. Okay, why does this, why does this page rank first? Okay, and why is this not on like page seven of Google? Well, one of the reasons why is that it's just got tons and tons of information. Okay, there's other things that factor into it. Google's got like 200 different factors in their algorithm for determining how something ranks. Okay, um, but one of those is just who has the most authoritative and relevant content. Okay, Google's job is to put the most relevant source of information in front of my eyeballs as a searcher. If I went to Google looking for information on elephants and I get information back about like, uh, books and paint and candles and stuff like that. I wouldn't use Google anymore. You know, there's a reason why Google is the number one most used search engine on the planet, and it's because they're really good at putting the right information in front of our eyes as searchers. Okay, so the same thing goes for a local service or a local business, right? 80% of people, when they're looking for something in their area, something that they need they go to Google to find it. So four out of five people, they'll, they'll go to Google and they'll type whatever they're looking for in the city. So let's say for example, like I live in Surprise, let's say I'm looking for um, a window tinter in Surprise AZ, right? I might type window tinting Surprise AZ. So let's see what comes up here. First you've got this map and you've got three businesses in there. You've got business A, B, and C. Okay, and then down below you have what's called the organic listings, all right? So if you notice here, this All Pro window tent is number one, and they're also number one right here. So whatever they've done, they've done a good job of because their site pops up number one in the map and number one in the organic listings, okay? People are never going to come down and go all the way here and go, I'm going to go to page two to find a window tinter. Oh, no, I think I'm going to go to page six. Nobody does that. Okay, think about yourself when you search for things. I mean, we can all admit, like, when we go search for something, if it's a local service or anything really on Google, we don't go to page 7, 8, 9, 10 to find our information. We, we go to the top. We pick whatever we see first, right? That's just how people are. We don't have time to mess around and, and spend all our time looking for what we're looking for. So we whatever comes up in front of our eyeballs first, that's kind of what we're looking at, right? So... What I do is I build websites and I know exactly what to do to push them to the top of this map and the top of this uh, organic listings. And so that captures a huge majority of the market. So let me show you this little chart here, right? This is just, this just shows the percentage of traffic by Google results position. So as you can see here, the number one spot gets 33% of all the traffic. So if you're down, if you're number 10, if you're at the bottom of page one, you're getting less than 3% of, of all the traffic. If you're number 15 on page two, you're getting nothing, you know? So that just tells you how massively important it is to be at the top of Google, 
because that's where everybody goes. Nobody's going to go look anywhere else for it. It's, it's not rocket science. It's super simple, but most small business owners don't know what it takes to make their website get there. Okay. But that's what I do. And you as a small business owner, you don't have time to, to spend each day working on your site day in, day out to, to kind of push it to the top. But that's what I do. I work on your site a little bit every single day and I do the things after it's built and, and stuff like that to push it to the top. Okay. So let me show you an example here of one of my other sites. Okay. So I've got a tow truck or a towing site in Scottsdale, Arizona. So Assuming you're driving through Scottsdale and you break down, you might search something like Scottsdale tow truck, right? Now, if we look in the map here, the number one spot, that's me, Scottsdale tow truck company. Okay. And we do go down to the organic listings. That's also me right there, Scottsdale tow truck company. So this, this site right here gets the majority of the traffic for people when they need a tow truck in Scottsdale. Okay. So let me just click on the site real quick. So this is it, super clean, it's nice looking, it's got a nice call to action here. So if somebody if somebody comes and actually looks at the site, because some people, let me go back real quick, some people are just going to put this number in their phone right there. They're not even going to go look at the site, but because they just need a tow truck right now, you know. But for something like what you're doing, wedding photography, people are going to want to go look at your site and see your pictures and stuff like that and see, okay, is this guy somebody that I want to use for my wedding. So on my site here though, I've got just tons and tons of information all about towing, roadside assistance, car lockout, battery jump start, fuel delivery, flat tire changing. Just I've got all those different little things and keyword phrases and stuff like that that people might search for, right? And I want to show you here, this picture here, this is my tow truck guy, okay? Now this guy here, his, see his company is called A Friendly Tow. So I found this guy, his name is Toby, I found him on Craigslist. And he, uh, up until we met and, and I talked to him, he was getting like maybe a call every three days for, he was getting the once in a while person that happened to go to Craigslist and happened to hap across, happened to come across his ad out of all the ads right? Because there's no ranking of ads when it comes to Craigslist. It's just like the most recent ones that are at the top. So sometimes people come across his ad and he'd get a job out of it. All right. But what I did, I built this site out and started getting phone calls and I sent them to Toby. And last month in December alone, I got 129 legitimate phone calls for people that need a tow truck in Scottsdale, Arizona. Okay. Now, some of those, a few of those were people that called like early in the morning and said, hey, did you guys tow my car or something like that? Because they're just, when someone takes your car, you're just searching around for, for who took it. But um, over 100 calls that he could go make money on, right? 129. So he charges about $80 a tow. So just from the amount of call volume alone, if he goes and, and answers his phone, and goes and tows that person. I mean, from 129 calls times $80 per tow, that's over $10,000 a month that he could potentially make. Now, I'm kind of having a few little issues with him because he doesn't answer his phone all the time and, and stuff like that, but I'm trying to work on that and trying to help him make a little more money, you know what I mean? Then just max it out, max the potential out. But So let me show you, um, let me show you here. So. Tucson wedding photographers, right? That's something that somebody might search if they if they need a, a wedding photographer in Tucson, okay? You can see here the volume. There's about 260 a month that, that search for something like that. So you've got a really high volume uh, little niche business right there, right? Now let's scroll down and look at what we've got, okay? These are actually ads. These are people that pay for this spot they pay per click. So if I were to click on this like Jacqueline Buck here, she pays every time somebody clicks on this, I'm not gonna do it because it'll charge her, but every time somebody clicks on that, she pays for that click. Whether they become a customer or not, she pays for it. But she's realized, I mean, obviously she's doing this, she's paying for this because she knows like, okay, every for every 10 people that click on this, maybe one or two become a customer of mine. And it might cost her $12 per click 
you know, I don't know what it is for wedding photography. It's different for each sort of industry because if it's a higher price service, they're going to charge you more per click, right? But so say it's $12 a click, she pays $120 to get 10 clicks. One of those becomes a customer. She's just basically paid 120 bucks to get a customer that's going to pay her, you know, $1,400, $1,500, whatever it is she charges to go shoot their wedding, right? So there's that. And then you've got the local maps. Most people are going to skip right over this and they're going to come and look at the maps or they're going to come down here and look at this. Okay. So what we've got here, we've got these guys. This is basically your competition. Okay. And I've done a little bit of research before I made this video and I know that these guys are uh, beatable for sure. Okay. Like this guy, Justin Haugen, I think he's, yeah, he's here number five. Okay. His site is from 2010 is when it was built. So if it's six years old and he's at number five, he's still not at the top. I know I can beat that. My Scottsdale towing site, I went live with that about eight weeks ago and it landed on page three. And then I kind of did what it took to push it to the top every single day. And I'm still working on it to rank for those other terms, but it's, uh, it's, it's climbed and it's beat everybody out within two months. Okay. So I know if I were to build out a site for you for wedding photography in Tucson, that it's something we could, you know, it takes a little bit of time, but we can get in there and we can get you a nice little listing right here and right here that the majority of people are going to click on you and they're going to see your photo and they're going to give you a call. Okay. So I want to show you one thing real quick though. Let's say I search Tucson wedding photography. Okay. Now, if you notice some stuff changed in here, Justin's still on top, but JW photography popped in there. Okay. Now what I do is I make sure that the site is optimized for all these different little terms that, that you might search for. Cause some people are going to search Tucson wedding photography. Some are going to ser search Tucson wedding photographers, you know, wedding photographers, Tucson AZ. There's a, a lot of different little terms and I do all that research and make sure that we're kind of optimized for all those different terms. So you can capture as many leads, as many people as possible. Right? So, San Diego is another one here that you said you're interested in. Um, these guys, you got ABM, you got Elon David, and you got Sutography. ABM, I think their site is, where's it at? It's down here, number eight. The other two guys aren't even here on page one. So definitely beatable, you know? Um, one more thing I want to show you real quick here is that nearly 60% of searches now come from mobile devices. So it's really important. A lot of people, they've got websites and they're not optimized for, for mobile phones, right? Or tablets. And when you look it up on there, it comes up with text running into pictures and all kinds of stuff. And people just click right out of that right away because they don't want to deal with that frustration. So we make sure it's, it's optimized for mobile phones and tablets and everything so that it's, uh, we're just really beating out the competition in, in every little area. You know, and the other thing is, if this is your competition, these guys aren't working on their website every single day like I am on yours. OK, these guys built their site and that's kind of it. They haven't really touched it after that. And so there our competition isn't working and we are. So it's it's just a matter of time before I beat them out and you're getting the majority of the leads. OK, now if we look at take a quick peek at your site here. You know, it's really, there's just not a lot of information, you know, there's, it, it's nice. It's, you know, I would think you were a good guy from looking through your site, but if I go to like your wedding page, all it is is pictures. It doesn't have any words, right? Google's going to crawl over this thing and look for, look for words and things that tell it what this site is about and where it should go. Cause Google's just, they're just crawling stuff and and figuring out, okay, which site should I put at the top? So hopefully this kind of makes sense to you. Hopefully I've uh, shed a little light on some stuff here. And if you've got some questions, feel free to call me back. I'll be up late tonight. I know I'm kind of getting this video to you late. It's almost nine o'clock, but um, my number again is 970-404-5870. And if you're serious about really growing your business, man, I can really help you. I can really help you get a lot more business. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video and hope to talk to you soon. All right, bye.